welcome back everyone. So we're on day five today. This is a cardio day. Let's get started with warming up. Sitting up straight, shoulders are back, taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Let's bring the arms down to the side, bring them up halfway and back down. Up and down. Breathing in and out. Let's bring the arms forward. One more halfway up and down. One arm all the way up and then turning the hands so the palms are inward and inwards and then going to the other side. So this time you're trying to reach them as far as you can in both directions. Last time here, bringing the hands in front and bringing the hands forward, elbows are back and forward. Really pull the elbows back, get the shoulders back, but good posture here and back. One more time. Good. Okay, let's go into our cardio. So just bringing a knee up and then switching to the other side. So finding the pace that works for you. If you want, you can bring in the elbows to the knees. Thinking of keeping your abs tight or flexed. So you're thinking of flexing the abs as the knee comes up. Okay, this time we are going to go into a leg extension and then you're going to reach a hand forward. So arms go the opposite way. Well, just follow along with my arms. So it's like you're your fingers are trying to go towards the toes. You're still sitting up straight. So slowing the pace down if you need to. Last time here. And going into a march. Relaxing the shoulders, giving them a bit of a break. You can either pump your arms or just have them at the side. I find it can be a little bit awkward sometimes marching and trying to move the arms as well in a seated position. Okay, let's go into that heel tap. So opposite foot and opposite hand. So if you need to sit out on your chair a little bit, depends on what kind of chair you have and how long the seat is as well on the chair. So let's find our pace here. then bring the hands a little bit higher. So at about shoulder level. And then going into a toe tap instead of the heels. So at any time when you need a break, take that break and then come back into it when you can. There's no need to push really, really hard in exercise. The best thing that you can do is try and come back to a workout that you enjoy, something where you feel successful and making it a habit and exercising every day. That might be a gentle workout, that's okay. You're still moving your body. Okay, let's bring the foot out to the side. So let's go out here. And then if you can, bring the hands out too. So you're pushing the palm out to the side. And if you want to challenge the abs a little bit, you can move your upper body a little bit as well. If you have any uh, back issues, then just keep your back straight. And then switching to having the arms going overhead. If you have shoulder issues, then you might want to press in front instead. Last one here going back into that march. Okay, sitting up straight, nice deep breath in. And breathing out. Okay, let's go into three steps. So one, two, three, and then you're gonna tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. And just keep going. Might take a little bit of concentration. Okay, this time we're gonna tap out to the side. A 
a little bit more here. Okay, one more on each side. Going back into that march. So we'll work the triceps a little bit. We'll go into that tricep press. So let's, you know what, let's go into the kickbacks right now. So bringing them back and then bringing a foot back as well. So finding your pace here, or you can bring the foot under the chair. Again, depends on what type of chair you have. Either is going to be beneficial, you are still moving your feet. So main thing here is to flex the back of your arms as you press the hands back. Okay, having the legs still and punching in front and breathing. And going back into that march. Okay, let's do, uh, we're gonna um, bring the foot back and forth. So it's like we are just tapping side to side, going into that bicep curl. And then we're gonna bring the arms overhead again. So let's do two bicep curls and then two presses overhead. This takes some thinking in order to be able to keep up with the coordination. So do what you can. If you find this too challenging, then go into a march. I like to include these sometimes because it is also a good workout for the brain, myself included. Okay, let's go back into that march. Taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Okay, having the hands at the shoulders, let's go into our tricep press. So that's just going up to the side and you're focusing on, again, flexing the back of your arms. So press and back to the shoulders. So when the arms are straight, that's when you're really thinking about flexing those triceps. Okay, let's go into a leg extension at the same time. So just bring your bum back in the chair. Let's bring a leg up and then other side. So you're flexing the quads here when that foot is coming up. One more on each side. And going back into that march. Let's bring the arms forward as if we're swimming going at whatever pace you'd like for, with your feet. Breathing. And if your shoulders are bothering you, then just bring the arms lower. That makes a difference. Okay, we are almost done. Just going into a march here. Deep breath in. And breathing out. Let's just bring the arms in opposite directions again, stretching out at the same time while we're moving our feet. So pressing in both directions. Switching sides. Having the hands in front, pulling the arms back. Stretching out the chest and the arms. Relaxing the feet, bringing the hands together, pushing the arms out in front or this way, either way is fine. Bring one knee up as high as you can. It might be here, it might be up higher, whatever works for you, holding that. If you want to, you can have your hands under the knees. It's a little bit easier on the knees. And bringing that foot down, switching to the other side. And back down, rolling the shoulders back. Dropping the ear down to the, the shoulder. Nice deep breath in. And breathing out. Rotating the head forward, over to the other side and hold.
and looking in front. And that is it. Thank you for joining me. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Let me know what you'd like to see in future workouts and have a wonderful weekend or week or day, whatever it is for you. Bye for now, everyone.